In 2007, cyber criminals developed an incredibly effective Trojan called Zeus, often used to steal banking information. The program's effectiveness quickly attracted attention from law enforcement agencies around the world. And in an act of self-preservation, the author of Zeus released the blueprints of the Trojan on the web in 2010, making it available for other criminals to use and develop new strains of malware. The most successful new strain emerged in 2011, when Russian hacker Evgeny Bogachev allegedly authored and implanted the Game Over Zeus Trojan on computers all around the world, building a network of infected machines, or bots, that his crime syndicate could control from anywhere. Unlike its predecessor, the Game Over Zeus botnet has a peer-to-peer -peer architecture, making it much more difficult for security experts and law enforcement agencies to dismantle the network. Game Over Zeus is designed to capture banking credentials from infected computers and make wire transfers to criminal accounts overseas. Bogachev commits cyber crimes across the globe with the stroke of a key and the click of a mouse. Game Over Zeus is the most sophisticated and damaging botnet we have ever encountered. However, Game Over Zeus is also a platform that other criminals can load different Trojans onto. One such Trojan is CryptoLocker a devastating malware that locks a user's most precious files until he or she pays a ransom. Bogachev is believed to operate both of these Trojans, doubling his revenue streams. Losses attributed to Game Over Zeus are estimated at more than $100 million. In June 2014, the world's top government agencies on organized crime collaborated under Operation Tovar to fight the Trojan. The FBI, Interpol, Europol and the UK's National Crime Agency obtained court approval to redirect the botnet communications away from the malicious servers operated by the Game Over Zeus criminals. But the mission is far from over. These servers are just part of the equation. Right now, the Trojan is in remission, but Bogachev is hiding out in Russia and there's a chance he could reactivate the remaining bots at any time by re-establishing a connection to any infected machine and sending new commands. There is something you can do to help in the fight for digital freedom. Have an internet security solution and keep it up to date. Keep your Windows operating system and your internet browser plugins updated. Back up all of your personal files regularly. Also, check your machines to be sure you do not carry the Game Over Zeus Trojan. If we clean every infected computer, the Game Over Zeus network will lose power and Bogachev's army of bots will be depleted.